Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be doing a paint with me with the Magic Fly 30 color acrylic paint set. Thank you so much to Magic Fly for sending me the product and giving me this opportunity. You can purchase this with the Amazon link and check out more of their products in the link in the description below. They offer a lot of art, supplies, and a lot of different art mediums that you can choose from and it's just really fun and their shipping is also really fast as well. So now I'll be going over the contents inside the specific 30 acrylic paint set. So firstly it came with a set of brushes. These brushes are actually quite small but I think it's perfect for painting A4 or A5 size. And also the brush tips were really soft as well so they were really easy to use. So I liked it a lot. So now I'm just displaying each color one by one that was in the 30 acrylic paint set. And yes, I counted, there were actually 30. Here is how the paint look like up close. There is actually a really large range of colors. And here I'm just doing some testing of how the texture is of the paints and how it mixes with water. So here are all the 30 colors tested on my mixed media paper. I overall really like the texture and how it turned out. And yeah, we're gonna move on to painting my actual thing now. Here is my tea again because I need my energy in order to paint this drawing. Today we'll be painting Violet Evergarden from the anime Violet Evergarden. I'm painting this uh, because this is for- I'm the secret Santa for someone who wants- who really likes Violet Evergarden and they like my videos as well so I might as well just film myself making a video drawing Violet Evergarden as the gift for Secret Santa. So here is a frame I just bought, well my sister bought for me. It's really cheap, I don't know where they got it, but you know, here's just an A5 frame so I can frame my painting later. So before that I have to get the dimensions right, so let's take the paper inside. I'm gonna use my paint palette knife because I have really short nails. Yeah, I have really short nails because I play the piano. And if it's too long, you know, you can't play the piano well. So... Ooh, okay. <sighs> okay, so now we gotta measure the size. Honestly, I kinda agree with her because Violet Evergarden is a really good anime. I mean, you can't over- that art style is so pretty. It's really pretty and I really like it a lot. It was also really sad. I'm not gonna spoil it. You should go watch it yourself. So as for what we're painting, we're going to be redrawing this particular frame from Violet Evergarden. I just think it's a very signature shot. Also, I've never done anime fan art with acrylics before, so this is new for me too so let's just experiment and see how it goes and bring you guys with me hi everyone so you can't have a draw with me without editing veda so here i am providing you guys with some quality and lit voiceovers while i paint and draw violet over here 2020 hasn't been a great year exactly for all of us because of covid so i just wanted to take this time in this video to reflect on what has happened in the first year of the new decade and my thoughts going into 2021. I think the main thing I learned this year is that we shouldn't take things for granted. If you are able to do something as of this moment, you should probably do it right away because you never know when is the next time you can do it again. For me, it was going to school or dance lessons, cherishing moments I get to spend with my friends and the person-to-person -person interaction with my teachers, my classmates during the lessons. Since Hong Kong is quite close to Wuhan, the virus came around late January and early February, so my quarantine started pretty early on in the year. And there was also an epidemic during 2003 in Hong Kong called SARS, so my parents were very worried about this new virus because it was quite bad in the past. And they put me and my sister into quarantine right away in our relative's house far away into the countryside of Hong Kong. And it was so far away from the society and all my friends, so my friends just joked that I lived in another country 
and the fact that there was no cell reception in the house didn't help either but don't worry there was wi-fi and due to the past events in hong kong in late 2019 for a solid month during november i think a lot of our classes got cancelled and moved to online so i have already experienced online learning in the past i really 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 despised online learning just because i felt that was it's just never-ending piles of homework given to us each day and there was no interaction between me, my peers, and my teacher at all. So when I heard the news that our classes would be all online again for at least the next month, spoilers, it was way more than just one month by the way, my excitement for the new years just completely vanished and then for the following months, what came was an unhealthy sleep schedule, complete isolation, and unmotivated student which is me. I remember this particular episode that really described my fragile state back then. I got accepted to a summer program in Cal Arts, which I was very, very much looking forward to. I felt that in the course, I would be able to make a lot of new fun memories, meet other amazing artists, but most importantly, being able to learn and develop my skills in drawing and animation to improve my current drawing skills so I can pursue my dreams of being an animator in the future. But no surprise, the program was cancelled. Learning that news just broke me as that was my only source driving me forward in online school because I just kept telling myself, okay, after this, you'll be able to go to this college course and have so much fun in the summer, which obviously didn't happen. And because of that, it broke me, and when I heard the news, I just started crying for hours. I know it's a very first world problem, but this course meant a lot to me as an aspiring, aspiring, aspiring animator like me. After being in such a mentally bad place, I finally told myself to get it together because there's so much more to life than that. And besides, I'm an introvert and a shut in, so I should like being in the house, right? So I looked at my 2020 New Year's resolution, and then one of them I just listed keeps the current Opal alive, which during that time I obviously have not been doing. I think I had 7,000 subscribers and I haven't posted in five months. So with all the time I have at home now, I thought it's time to dedicate it into making videos again and just see how it goes. I really wasn't expecting much. I remember thinking if I ever hit 1000 views on a video, that would be really, really cool. And from then on, I started posting my iconic anime animatics again. I think another reason why my art improved so much is because animatics automatically forces you to draw a lot given the amount of frames it needs. It's just a theory, but I think it's a valid theory. So draw animatics, everyone. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Okay. In the beginning, uh, doing all these Hanako-kun animatics around late March, I did compare myself a lot. I know I was one of the first few, but there were also so many talented artists, by the way, which are mostly younger than me, which is really scary because I'm not even that old myself, which makes me a bit sad, but I told myself not to be discouraged and keep and kept trying my best and making more animatics and i think it did pay off because then i hit 10k subscribers on the fateful day of april 21st i then also created my discord server which was quite small but it was very cozy and wholesome and i remember streaming my art the following week on discord for the first time and i think i was with around 10 people who watched my stream but they were really really supportive we all chatted afterwards and that night it just caught me thinking i'm so lucky to be able to do this although there's a pandemic going on and i'm unable to see so many people it's amazing how the internet can just bring us all together and some of these people that were on the stream are still my closest friends on this server or even moderators on my server and I was just really happy because I never thought people would enjoy my art and waste two hours of their life just watching me draw. I also met a lot of cool artists that I really admire that they they told me that they like my art. It makes me really happy. Oh my god, like fangirl wings so hard. And yeah, 
this cycle continued all the way until summer where I just kept making animatics, although I was highly neglecting my sleep and didn't leave the house in two months. Whoops. I was really happy. Our school teachers and students have all gone used to having classes on Zoom at this point and it just slowly became my norm and I was just fine with that now. And then going back to the Kyle Arts course, they told me that they created an alternative online course which I obviously joined and then I met a lot of cool artists as well and just learned the most that I ever could. After discovering the world of realism and life drawing, my art just tremendously improved and I wasn't afraid to draw realism in hands anymore! Oh my god, it was like my worst fear back then. But with balancing school, color arts, the color arts course, and my YouTube channel, I started to feel a bit burnt out, especially with the lack of sleep I was getting. And in July, I just didn't want to draw anymore. Like, I just saw a pencil, I just saw my iPad, and I just went, ew. <laughs> I know, right? How can I even do that? And that's also actually when I discovered Seventeen, which I think if you follow me for a while, you know that I really like. They're a K-pop boy group, and I just spent three weeks doing nothing but watching their content. It was probably the most unproductive three weeks in my entire life. I shut down all pathways I had to social interactions, sat on my bed until 3am every day just consuming content. <sighs> Anyways, I'll be updating you guys what's going on right now. Hi guys, so here's a quick update on how the drawing is going. This is how it looks like from a really close up. I'm overall really proud of it. I remember in the beginning, especially doing the sketch, oh my god, I wanted to give up so bad because it was really hard to get the anatomy right of the face and I just felt that something was off like and I just kept trying to make it modifications but it just didn't work out but then now i'm actually pretty proud of it yeah so we're gonna continue now hi guys two disasters happened firstly i forgot to film what's wrong with me and second like i was trying to open this and then i flicked it and then there's paint everywhere on my shirt so let me go get some water Hi y'all, let me continue my 2020 life story because that's what I've been voiceovering about. So now we're on August and I shall continue from there. From that point, I told myself, you have a month left of summer, are you really just gonna sit there and keep watching Seventeen? Because in a month, you're gonna be really busy because you're a junior and you gotta make the most of it now. So one of my goals have always been living healthier, which I obviously was not doing. And so I research on how to stay motivated, how to fix a horrible sleeping schedule, etc. And then I finally gave myself a list of good habits that I should follow and forcing myself to do them basically. I started waking up and sleeping earlier. I started exercising and stretching every morning, I started to drink plenty of water, and I tried to draw in my sketchbook every day, and obviously I forced myself to learn Mew 17 dance every single day in the summer. <laughs> Lol. I still- I was still obsessed with them, okay? And have y'all heard of this saying? It takes 66 days to form a new habit because after doing these habits every day in the summer, they just slowly stuck with me and then they became my norm and I actually do a lot of these habits until this day. Like right now, if I don't stretch at least like twice in a week, I think it's really, really weird for me, which which in the past I was like, it was stretching, it hurts, but now I'm just like, stretching, it's cool. Then after summer, I got sucked into IB hell. I shouldn't say that just in case like one of my teachers discovers this video and watches it, but obviously being a junior slash year 12 is really busy, a lot of tests, and there's just so much more pressure on your schoolwork because in a way that determines your college and your future, which is really scary to think about. But reflecting on this whole year in general, I think that the fact I went from a crying girl in bed in January, being unmotivated to do anything, until doing this video right now with someone sponsoring me in this video, like, 
that's just a major accomplishment. There's so many things that I achieved this year and I'm really proud of it. And it's all thanks to you guys as well. Moving into 2021, of course, I want to keep doing this and being able to balance my schoolwork and just focusing on my not only my physical health now, but also my mental health as well. And also my main goal, I think, for next year is to develop more confidence because that is something I am lacking a lot in right now. Thank you so much to Magic Five for giving me the opportunity to use your paints. They were amazing and I enjoyed it very much. Here are all the colors I used to create this, which is now my final violet artwork. I'm actually really proud of this because it's my first time doing semi-realism on acrylic, but it turned out really nice and I actually really like the glitter effect I added with watercolor. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching this draw with me. Hopefully you guys like watching it as much as I like filming them. And see you all in the next video. Bye!